how to read and interpret data tables. Data tables are a way of organizing information into columns and rows to make it easier to analyze. Data tables are used by scientists, researchers, sports analysts, and many other people to help them quickly sort through information. When scientists are doing an experiment, they will use data tables to help them record their observations. The first column on the far left of the data table is usually where you will find the independent variable of an experiment. The independent variable is the one that the person is changing. The other columns of the data table are usually where you will find the dependent variables of an experiment. The dependent variable is the one the person is measuring and observing. Reading and analyzing a data table is simple if you follow these easy steps. In step one, you'll want to look at the column headings and identify what information is being recorded on the data table. So let's take a look at this data table. On the first column on the left, we have the ramp height. That's the independent variable. The other columns are the dependent variables. We have acceleration of the marble at the bottom of the ramp, force of the marble at the bottom of the ramp, and distance the cup travels. In step two, we're going to look at the first column on the left, the independent variable, to see what was being changed and to see if there's a pattern. So let's go ahead and look at the ramp height. As you can see, the numbers are getting bigger as you go down, so there's an increase in height. In step three, we look at the other columns individually to see if there's a pattern again. So first, we're going to look at acceleration of the marble at the bottom of the ramp. The numbers are getting bigger as it goes down, so again, there's an increase in acceleration. Now we'll look at the force of the marble at the bottom of the ramp. The numbers are getting bigger as they go down, so again, an increase in force. And finally, we'll look at the distance the cup travels. The numbers are getting larger as it goes down, so there's an increase in distance. In step four, we're going to compare the first column, the independent variable, to the other columns, the dependent variables, to see if changing one affected the others and if there's a relationship between them. So increasing the height will cause an increase in acceleration, force, and the distance the cup travels. Height, acceleration, force, and the distance the cup travels are then directly proportional to each other. So again, step one, we want to look at the column headings and identify what information is being recorded on the data table. Then in step two, you're going to look at the first column on the left, the independent variable, to see what was being changed and to see if there is a pattern. In step three, we look at other columns individually to see if there is a pattern again. And in step four, we compare the first column, the independent variable, to the other columns, the dependent variables, to see if changing one affected the others and if there's a relationship between them. Let's go ahead and look at this data table. So in step one, we want to look at the column headings and identify what information is being recorded on the data table. So in column one, our first one, we have temperature, and then the other ones we have parrot and gecko, male and female. In step two, we want to look at the first column on the left, the independent variable, to see what was being changed and to see if there's a pattern. So we can see that the temperature is getting larger and there's an increase in temperature. Now in step three, we're going to look at the other columns individually to see if there's a pattern again. So if you look at the parrots, male and female, there really is no pattern discovered. They're about the same. However, as we look at the geckos, male and female, we can see that the males are increasing and the females are decreasing. In step four, we're going to compare the first column, the independent variable, to the other columns, the dependent variables, to see if changing one affected the others and if there's a relationship between them. So as we can see, as you increase the temperature, 
The parrots don't really have much difference. However, with the geckos, if you increase the temperature, you will increase the male geckos and decrease the female geckos. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.